So what would you say to people who uh, are sitting at home thinking right now, how do I boost my immunity? What things would you tell them to to? Yeah, well, the first thing is you have to take care of your gut. So mm -hmm. that means eating fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds. And the reason why that's so important is because that probiotic or good bacteria feeds on fiber. And the only foods that have fiber is fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds. So you have to feed the good bacteria so it can actually manufacture the immunity that you need in the first place. Because again, the, the gut is where 80% of the immunity is, takes place, right? And this is manufactured. So that's the first thing. The second thing is you have to stay hydrated because when your cells are hydrated, just think of like this, the difference between a grape and a raisin is simply hydration. Mm -hmm. And when we're dehydrated, our cells are dehydrated and they look like raisins. So we have to stay hydrated. Mm -hmm. The third thing is the sun. The sun is, you know, the, the magnificent thing about the sun is it's 93 million miles away from earth, but the sun rays reach us, they hit our skin, and they convert the good cholesterol in our bodies into vitamin D. And vitamin D plays a critical role in our immune system, okay? Mm. The other thing you could do is, I, and I, I recommend this for everybody, but everybody doesn't love it, is in your showers with cold water. So take a cold shower for at least 30 seconds to a minute. I and never... That, yeah, yeah. And so what, what that does is, it hits your lymphatic system, which is right under your skin, and it stimulates your lymphatic system, which is crucial because your lymphatic system is like the toilet system in your body. It dumps out acidity, mucus. Uh, it dumps out cancer because that's also where um, when you kill cancer cell, it goes into your lymphatic system. It also dumps out infection. So when your body kills the infection, it has to be eliminated. You have to remember a virus isn't dead or alive. So... The macrophage that actually eats it, it doesn't actually kill it, it's still in your body, so it has to be eliminated. So cold water, when it hits it, stimulates your lymphatic system, but it also stimulates your immune system. So taking about a 30 second to a minute cold shower at the end of your shower will do you a lot of justice. Now I've even seen this with people who have like cellulitis and no antibiotic won't work against it, like a skin infection. And all I have them do is rotate their hands from warm water to actual cold water, like ice water, back and forth a couple of days and it gets better. Okay, so sunlight and cold showers, what else? Sunlight, cold showers, eating a healthy diet. You can check, oh, take health. What is a healthy diet? Because a, plant, a, a plant-based whole foods diet. That okay. means raw vegetables, raw fruits are the best thing for you. Because when you cook them, you kill the nutrients in them. And then during the stage where you're actually trying to build up immunity, you want to get all the mineral content out of it, all the trace elements, all the antioxidants. So that's why it's so important to eat as much raw fruits and vegetables as you can. Okay, so raw foods, because when you cook them, you destroy the lots of nutrients in it, you destroy the digestive enzymes that helps you to even break them down in the first place. What, what would you say to people is a good for a raw food diet if they right now they know that they want to go let's say they want to go raw for a week um what what is the basis of your raw diet what what, what, what do you have day to day every morning a green smoothie or green drink so that's how it would start off my day uh and then fruit so a bowl of fruit um the bowl of fruit could be the size of your hand mm -hmm. um salads uh are going to be the other staple inside of the diet and then the combination of things like a few seeds and a few nuts. That's really all you need. Uh, okay. I, I think a lot of people like a lot of variety, but get your variety from your fruits. So doing your berries, doing your melons, doing your mm -hmm. different types of fruit, and uh, doing your juices and your green smoothies and your salads, and that's really all you need. I, I have a fruit company. Um, when, when you're off this, send me your... Um... Send me information. I'll just send you weekly boxes of fruit. I think that we should um, we should do this regularly, just because a lot of people right now they're scared, and the only information that they're able to receive is from European or Chinese Arab Indian doctors, 
and or African doctors who've been seasoned, uh, like I would say, uh, may he rest in power, who've been seasoned to basically be the drug pushers of white capitalism. And right. they tell you, you know, uh, they'll deflect with uh, peer-reviewed science that has been funded by pharmaceutical industry or been funded by big businesses who are advocating for vaccinations, etc. So I'll send you fruit. I get um, organically grown soursop from Grenada. So you can have soursop juice or whatever. I eat oh. raw food and a fruit-based diet. But um, I, I also think that, you know, this is kind of like an introduction, but we can get really deeper because like the thing is, and a lot of people, this is what Dr. Africa told me. He was like, I know so much, but people only really ever get it when they get my book because people keep asking me the same questions again and again. How do I go plant-based? Right. What, what should I do about sleep? And he's like, it's very difficult to go into a, uh, a, a, a uh, into uh, um, in, into microbiology, which is essentially what we're talking about here, um, when people are asking you very very basic things. So right, it's like you can't forward the conversation. Right, exactly. It's like it goes way over people's heads. There's still people right now eating, you know, McDonald's and Burger King while they're in quarantine. Right. Um, <laughs> to be well, so I think we should do like um maybe a series where we just keep kind of going deeper, deeper, deeper in, in, in the layers. But um, just, just, uh, just quickly, what, what um, herbs and what superfoods or supplements, if, if any, should people be taking to boost their immune system? Yeah, good question. So um, sea moss is going to be really good. And the reason why sea moss is good, not only does it nourish the digestive tract, but it actually mm -hmm. removes mucus from the body. Mm -hmm. uh, so the combination of those two things are going to be imperative, especially during the time where you're trying to build immunity. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing is elderberry. And I know there's been a lot of information out there about you shouldn't take the elderberry while the coronavirus. But all of that started with a Facebook post. Mm -hmm. And the information was based on theory. It wasn't based on science at all. There are no scientific articles or clinical studies that say that elderberry does not help you fight viruses and is bad for the coronavirus. So elderberry, uh, if you're not, if you don't have any symptoms, you can do it preventatively. So you can do like one teaspoon. If you actually have symptoms, you can do like four a day at the onset of the symptoms. What was that? Like a medicinal dose. I couldn't hear you. I'm sorry. So like uh, a medicinal dose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so you can do that in tea or you can make your own serve. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, the other things that you could do is make sure you eat foods that are high in vi vitamin C. And notice I didn't say go out and buy vitamin C, but eat foods that are high in vitamin C because they actually have the complete form of vitamin C. When you go out and buy things like emergency, which is like this pack that says it has ascorbic acid in it, Ascorbic acid is not vitamin C. Mm -hmm. It is like the essentially like the antioxidant wrapper around vitamin C. So it's only one component. You need the mm -hmm. full vitamin C. So eating foods high in vitamin C, green peppers, red peppers, yellow peppers, you know, kiwis are really good, um, mm -hmm. black currant, those sort of things. So start there. So, um, um, so oranges and figs and all of these things that we know have uh, vitamin C in them. You're eating it for the, the mineral vitamin C, which is, I believe it's calcium. And I think that I've got like all of my life, I've been told um, like, basically this is, this is one thing that puzzled me. I have been made to believe that vitamin C is separate to fruit almost, just because there's a, there's a manufactured product, which the ascorbic acid, which they're trying to sell people as the, right. you know, the, but the highest content of vitamin C that you can actually use is in fruit, right? And then vegetables. Right. And, and vitamin C is just one antioxidant. It's mm -hmm. not every antioxidant. There's so many more that you need to mount an immune response. 
But the important thing to understand is even when they discovered vitamin C and they did the initial clinical studies in the 1930s, mm -hmm. they